learning from the quality gurus. We all know that the challenge facing India's business executives in the new millennium is not simply to decide whether to adopt an equality management program but to adopt one that is best fits their specific competitive business environment. In this lesson we will learn quality concept, the needs and importance of quality and the contribution of quality gurus in TQM. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain concept and objectives of quality, describe the needs and importance of quality, discuss determinants of quality, explain the contribution of quality gurus. Quality can be a confusing concept, partly because people view quality in relation to differing criteria based on their individual roles in the value chain such as perfection, delighting or pleasing the customer, eliminating waste, doing it right the first time and or consistency. Quality Concepts is a concept driven business that focuses on specialty business development. The Total Quality Management TQM process begins with a definition of the specific quality objectives important to the client's business. Assessments are conducted to benchmark the business relative to the standards agreed upon with the client. The following five steps should be observed for writing the broad quality objectives for an organization. First, assemble input. Find the optimum input. Resolve differences. Select the final objectives and publicize the objectives. A successful TQM environment requires a committed and well-trained workforce that participates in quality improvement activities. A need for quality as effective management of the service network brings with it a number of benefits such as improved performance, better return on investment by facilitating maximizing use of resources, revenue assurance, improved customer satisfaction and better forecasting. The need and importance of quality remains benefiting the operators in understanding the network behavior through effective use of the information generated from network monitoring. It allows you to quantify the monetary benefits of a particular configuration so that you can obtain the maximum profit from that environment and ensure that you can plan and prepare better service level agreement targets, confident in the knowledge that you can support them without penalty. Next is evolution of TQM. Initially, Q was conformance to specification or standard. In military equipment construction, to a large extent, it still is. In the consumer world, the customer's expectations have begun to play a bigger and bigger role. What brought about the change? This is because of the awakening that grew out of the success of Japanese producers whose focus was high quality. Before the concepts and ideas of TQM were formalized, much work had taken place over the centuries to reach this stage. There was intense global competition and any country's economic performance and reputation for quality was made up of the reputations and performances of its individual companies and products or services. The determinants of quality are of importance to operations, academics and managers and they provide the identification of the determinants of service quality. There are some quality determinants that are predominantly satisfiers and others that are predominantly dissatisfiers. It is found that the predominantly satisfying determinants are attentiveness, responsiveness, care and friendliness and dissatisfies are integrity, reliability, responsiveness, availability and functionality. Responsiveness is identified as a crucial determinant of quality as it is a frequent source of satisfaction and the lack of it is a major source of dissatisfaction. Determinants of quality include the management activities of control, improvement and the rest. It is concluded that if companies are to improve their service or product quality, 
they must review the needs for improvement of data collection and presentation and the quality skills needed at all managerial levels. Walter A. Shewart 1891-1967 control charts created by him were used to differentiate between assignable sources of variation and pure chances of variation. In his opinion, reducing variability is equivalent to quality improvement. Next, Joseph M. Duran, born in 1904. Duran recounts his fascinating life story, revealing how he overcame dire poverty and childhood tragedy to make a profound impact on business and society. Architect of Quality delves deep into Duran's motivation, sharing for the first time how the early hardships he faced and his relentlessness, aggressive spirit, shaped his character and fueled his determination to succeed. Next is Armand V. Feigenbaum, initiator of the concept of total quality control Feigenbaum published in 1961 one of his referencing book named Total Quality Control. Feigenbaum strove to move away from the then primary concern with technical methods of quality control to quality control as a business method. Quality control itself is defined as an effective system for coordinating the quality maintenance and quality improvement efforts of the various groups in an organization so as to enable production at the most economical levels which allow for full customer satisfaction. Next, Kaoru Ishikawa, 1915-1989. The results of this company-wide quality control activities are remarkable, not only in ensuring the quality of industrial products but also in their great contribution to the company's overall business. W. Edward Deming, 1900-1993. Deming's 14 principles are 1. Create a vision and demonstrate 2. Commitment, learn the philosophy 3. Understand inspection 4. Stop making decisions purely on the basis of cost 5. Improve constantly and forever 6. Institute training 7. Institute leadership 8. Drive out fear 9. Optimize the efforts of teams. 10. Eliminate exhortations. 11. Eliminate numerical quotas. 12. Remove barriers to pride in work. 13. Encourage education and self-improvement. 14. Take action. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Effective control over the factors affecting product quality is regarded as requiring controls at all important stages of the production process. Right or wrong? Right. W. Edwards Deming argues that statistical methods are used in an overall quality control program whenever and wherever they may be useful. Right or wrong? Wrong. Quality circles have been vigorously marketed in the West as a means of improving quality. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. The quality movement has matured during the present millennium. Many experts have contributed from the three continents. Plan is a specified course of action designed to attain a specified objective. The Total Quality Management TQM process begins with a definition of the specific quality objectives important to the client's business. The following five steps should be observed for writing the broad quality objectives for an organization. First, assemble input. Find the optimum input. Resolve differences, select the final objectives, and publicize the objectives. Duran Trilogy is a patented set of processes used by Joseph M. Duran to perform quality planning, quality control, and quality improvement through his consulting operations. Prevention is a future-oriented approach to quality management 
that achieves quality improvement through curative action on the process. Ishikawa diagrams considered as one of the seven basic tools of any improvement effort cause and effect diagram that allows for the graphical analysis of the causes of effects or problems into a variety of categories until the most causes or causes of a particular effect are identified. 